He is one of the most polarizing characters to ever emerge from the Dragon Ball universe, and within recent years, we've seen this character return in more ways than one, but what exactly is he? How powerful is Timebreaker Bardock, and where did a concept like this come from? On today's video, we will be discussing the history of Timebreaker Bardock, where he comes from, and what his roles were and how powerful he is in comparison to his polar opposites in the Dragon Ball world when looking at who and what exactly Timebreaker Bardock is. So strap on in, buckle up, and hold on tight because we are going to be explaining the history of Timebreaker Bardock next. <laughs> If you are new to this channel and enjoy what you see, then don't forget to punch that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to receive new and daily content on your mobile devices, desktops, and services that I provide along with following me on these social media platforms to stay connected with me at all times. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's begin. If you are a fan of the Bardock character, then you are going to be extremely pleased to know that his final moments against Frieza above planet Vegeta weren't his last, nor was it going to be the last time we ever get to see the father of the most iconic anime character in all of history, but only the beginning of many great and weird things to come. Now for starters, the concept behind the Masked Saiyan or Timebreaker Bardock originates from Dragon Ball Online before Dragon Ball Heroes, Dragon Ball Fusions, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. In Dragon Ball Online, Bardock was saved by Mira from Frieza, preventing his death and all the changes to his future, but was later controlled by Mira to be his servant by wearing a white Timebreaker mask that brainwashes him and is capable of blocking blood waves from entering his body. During the third Time Mission quest, also known as TMQ3, Timebreaker Bardock appears in Age 761 to interrupt Gohan's training with Piccolo, which sets off a chain of events that lead to Timebreaker Bardock and successful brainwashing Gohan in his grade A form, but once the player had defeated Timebreaker Bardock, the entire story goes back to normal, but his impact was made pretty clear as he wasn't fully defeated. Now you do end up encountering Timebreaker Bardock again during Time Machine Quest TMQ4 in Age 762, as this is the climax of the battle as we later get to see Bardock revert to his normal self as the story progresses. In Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Timebreaker Bardock, who is also referred referred to as the Masked Saiyan, is also seen watching as the future warrior who is your character is helping Trunks against Mira in Age 762, along with playing a very minor role in the background before fighting him head on as the game progresses. Now, in the secret ending of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, after pulling Mira into the Time Rift as a sacrifice, it is revealed that Bardock fought against Mira in an isolated dimension, with no result being confirmed as to who won, which ultimately means that Bardock may or may not still be alive somewhere in a different dimension, but for now, that remains to be seen. But during the events of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Timebreaker Bardock does not appear to have a major role as he once did in Dragon Ball Online or Dragon Ball Heroes, as his role in the game was pretty much reduced in being a watcher, in which later brings you to fighting Timebreaker Bardock before understanding who he was after the mask had been shattered and later having to take down Mira with him. In Dragon Ball Heroes, Timebreaker Bardock appears during the Dark Empire saga and during the Dark Demon Realm saga. And during the Dark Demon Realm saga, while under the control of Mira and Toa instead of just Mira, Timebreaker Bardock is shown fighting against the Supreme Kai of Time and Future Trunks by himself until Future Trunks transforms into a Super Saiyan and manages to damage Bardock's mask. While noticing this, Mira transforms into Super Mira and proceeds to attack Future Trunks as Bardock breaks his mask and reveals himself, teaming with Future Trunks as the two engage in a battle as Super Mira causes him and Toa to retreat. Now, Timebreaker Bardock is confirmed to be ridiculously powerful in the games, so much so that he's even able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in base form. And that really shouldn't surprise anybody considering how number one, it's only featured in video games and not within the main source material of Dragon Ball via manga or TV show, and number two, the characters from Heroes and Dragon Ball Online are upscaled to the the highest degrees anyways. But not 
not only was Timebreaker Bardock upscaled so much to where he blocked the punch from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but he was also able to survive a Super Spirit Bomb attack, which had the powers of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, beat, Time Patroller Trunks and Piccolo, which by the end only left Bardock with a damaged mask and nothing more. Keep in mind, this was all done in base form as well. Now in Dragon Ball Online, the Time Breaker mask only works on those who do not have a pure heart, which means a person cannot be brainwashed or taken over if their heart is in the right place, like Goku for example. In thus, the mask inhibitor serves its purpose in being a device which Mira can use to control someone with, like Bardock as an example. Now one thing that universal about the Time Breaker Bardock character is once his Time Breaker mask is cracked and shatters, the host, in this case Bardock, reverts to his normal self remembering everything that's happened and having the ability now to think and act on his own, but while under the influence of the Time Breaker mask or the Inhibitor mask, all hope of consciousness is rendered obsolete. Now at first glance when you take a look at Time Breaker Bardock for the first time, you can't help but wonder that this person looks inferior compared to some of the other characters we've seen prior, but in fact by the end that ends up being the total opposite. Now just in case you happen to wonder if Timebreaker Bardock has any sort of rival that he meets in Dragon Ball Online, Dragon Ball Heroes, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, in fact he ends up having none. The only opposition that Timebreaker Bardock actually has is the Time Patrol unit which is basically made up of your character and of course Xeno Trunks, or future Trunks depending on the variation of game, and Mira in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as we also see Mira go up against Bardock on Dragon Ball Online. Other than that, Timebreaker Bardock is basically his own mercenary. He goes about the ways of what Mira and Toa say to him, and he's basically under the influence until of course the mask is cracked, which can allow Bardock to regain his consciousness in making better decisions. We also get to know that Timebreaker Bardock, once his mask is broken, is also able to achieve Super Saiyan 3, which is something that Bardock has never achieved in the main source of Dragon Ball that includes Dragon Ball Minus, Bardock, the father of Goku, or the episode of Bardock. We've never Never seen Bardock exceed the levels beyond Super Saiyan, let alone achieve the powers of Super Saiyan 3 in the main source, but the furthest that Bardock had gone in terms of main canon, or if you want to count it as non-canon something outside the video game material, is Super Saiyan against Lord Chilled. Now the possibilities for Bardock achieving anything else is basically endless, as it is also possible for Bardock to go as far as achieving Super Saiyan 4 and Dragon Ball Heroes, and that is yet to be seen. But of course, is it possible? If Gohan can do it and various other characters that have never achieved Super Saiyan 4 before can do it, then so can Bardock. But right now, all we really have from Bardock is his post-Timebreaker mind control status of achieving Super Saiyan 3. Now, looking at Bardock as a whole, he's made lots of video game appearances throughout the years, including Dragon Ball Sagas, Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, Dragon Ball Z Infinite World, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 1 and 2, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi, Dragon Ball Z for Connect, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 and 2, and of course Dragon Ball Fighters. But also looking at other consoles as well, he's made an appearance in Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2, Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team, Dragon Ball Kai Ultimate Budokan, Dragon Ball Tap Battle, Dragon Ball Extreme Budokan, and Dragon Ball Fusions, alongside various other games such as Dragon Ball Zenkai Battle, and of course the infamous Dragon Ball Heroes. Now for Dragon Ball Fusions, we can actually find a Timebreaker Bardock lingering, but his role is isn't as significant in the games as it is in Dragon Ball Online and Dragon Ball Heroes. Primarily speaking in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Timebreaker Bardock aka the Mass Saiyan was featured, but not prominently enough as he was in Dragon Ball Online and Dragon Ball Heroes. But in the end, I would like to know what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. What are your overall thoughts on seeing how strong Bardock is in Dragon Ball Heroes? What are your overall thoughts on the character itself? And which incarnation of Timebreaker Bardock aka the Masked Saiyan did you guys like the most in either Dragon Ball Online, Dragon Ball Fusions, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, or Dragon Ball Heroes? I would like to know your thoughts down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Once again, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and slap that subscribe button. Make sure you guys also enable all notifications to be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel. And let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes. That would be incredible from the community. So thank you all for watching. Once again, leave your thoughts down below as to how you guys feel about Bard the pros and the cons and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next Dragon Ball video. Cue my motherfucking outro, bitch.